Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you my unboxing of this new device that we bought that's called Rode Video Micro. So why we decided to buy this is because as you know we've uploaded two videos um, in our new channel and, and so far there has been quite a resounding feedback that our audio is not very clear. It's a little faint. In many of the scenes in our last video most of the time you would just hear the wind blowing yeah. or um, someone else talking in the background so you don't really get to hear what we're saying so that's that's how it came about that's why we decided to buy one and so I went online and checked on which one to buy, potentially, so did a bit of Google search on good brands, came across Rode, came across another brand called Boya, and then went on to eBay to see which one that I could buy for the cheapest price possible. At first I wanted to buy the Boya, it was called Boya BY-MM1, and it was being sold for $42, and I thought that was, that was a steal, that was really cheap. So I just wanted to go in there and buy it, but then I decided to go to YouTube first, so just to watch reviews. And so thankfully I uh, stumbled on this video by this guy called Jeremy Cruz, and um, where he did this really good um, comparison between Boya, uh, BYMM1, and this Rode Video Micro. And in that video, it was very obvious that in very windy situations, uh, Video Micro did a much better job at capturing clear audio. And so I went back to eBay to do a bit more searching on this particular model and thankfully um, found a seller that was selling it for $79 um, and was also offering free shipping. So I went, went and bought, bought it on Sunday and then two days later, here it is, um, arrived at our door just about two days after we bought it online. So how good is online shopping? So with that, let's proceed to our unboxing. Okay, so first impressions. It's a really premium box, very smooth outside, a bit of gold, I don't know, it's, 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 it's gold, almost like embossed in a really nice shiny gold material. Okay, so let's proceed to unboxing now. Ta -da! That is what's inside. Again, it's very well packaged. It is actually sealed. Um, no, it's not. It's just really well packaged. All right, so what is inside? So obviously you've got the microphone, which is where. Oh, <laughs> I was searching for it. It's actually inside this. So this is the microphone. It's really small. It's just the size of my thumb and a little bit. Actually, it's probably the size of my index finger. So that's how small it is. Got all your safety and regulation notes here. I'm um, probably just going to read that later on. Oh, you, you, got, you forgot the... You forgot the... And the... Absorber. And the absorber. Of course, I did forget that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got the microphone in here. And then you've got what's called a dead cat. So basically what this is, is that it stops um, the wind from um, interfering with your audio input. And so in a windy day, all the noise is filtered out and you essentially just can hear your voice really loud and clear. That's what it's supposed to do. So you, what you do is you insert your microphone there and, and you do all the talking. And even in a windy day, it's, um, you just still, your voice still comes out crystal clear. The other thing, the other test I wanted to do on this dead cat is just to, I guess, do it a test. Oh, okay. Well, as you can see here, some of the, some of the, I don't know what this is called, probably fur or hair or whatever. <laughs> the, the, the the cat fur is falling off, um, but that's probably also because I was mishandling a little bit. I probably shouldn't have um, brushed it too roughly with my with my fingers. The other thing in the box is obviously this connector. So you essentially connect this to your to the base of the microphone and the other end to your actual camera. And it doesn't need any battery, so you can you can just plug and play and use it straight away, which is also great. 
and then you've got what's called the, I think what this is called shock mount. So what you do is you put your camera in here. Okay. It's a little bit hard to get in. <laughs> there you go. And then what it basically does is even if you're, you're moving around a little bit, or your camera's moving around a little bit, um, this, device, this little thing here absorbs the shock, that the noise coming out of that impact or that shock doesn't get heard in your audio. Just realized I don't have my camera now, so I'm just gonna go and grab it really quickly. <laughs> I'm actually using my camera to record this, so it's just quite funny. But what you do is you, if you're using a Lumix like me, um, then you should have a slot over there where you can just slot the microphone in. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. And what you do, you just connect this here, and then you just connect the audio in to this side. There should be an audio. There you go. Um, oh, no. That's the wrong Oh. <laughs> okay, so now that the microphone is installed on the camera, hopefully my voice is now coming across a lot clearer and louder. So we will see later on. So a few things. Number one, it's really small. It was just the size of my index finger. And so it's really nice and handy. You could just slot it into your camera bag. Ours is particularly small, so size is never going to be an issue for us. It's also really small that it doesn't attract attention from people. When you are outside shooting videos, most of the time people would stare at you and wonder what you're doing. And I can just imagine if I had a really long microphone on top of my camera, they would probably be wondering what I'm doing. Um, and I'd probably get funny faces from them. <laughs> and so being small actually allows us to be a little bit more discreet when we do take videos and and i thought it was particularly cheap it was 79 dollars it wasn't as expensive as i initially thought it would be the only thing that i wish it offered is an adapter that i could just plug into my camera so then i could use it as well uh, when i'm shooting through my iphone but that's okay we will now show you some tests that we've done and see if it actually is any good This is how I sound like with a microphone. When it's noisy, this is how I sound like without a microphone. When it's noisy, this is how I sound like with a microphone. Well, that is the end of this video. We hope you found it informative. If you found this helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you! Bye.